Hi everyone, it's Arlene here with a video for you showing a card that I'm going to be making. The stamp set that I'm going to use is the Love What You Do stamp set. This is one of the stamp sets that is on the retired list that Stampin' Up! just recently put out this week. So on that retired list is a list of all the stamps and products and tools and embellishments that they are not going to be carrying into the new catalog which comes out the beginning of June. So if there's anything that you see on that list that you want, I would say get it sooner than later. <laughs> that now the stamp sets, they're guaranteeing until May 24th, but the other supplies, they're not. And so sometimes that, that can be just on a, you know, while supplies last type of thing. So let me set, get this set aside. I'll set this stamp set over here. And let me show you the paper that I'm using. So I had a piece of eight and a half by 11 soft sea foam, and I cut that down the middle lengthwise, and then I scored it in half. So it's scored at five and a half inches. And then I also have a piece of the Garden Impressions designer series paper. That comes in a pack of six by six. They're double-sided. And this is a retiring item. A lot of the paper is retiring, which just means we are going to get more paper. I can't wait. All right, so this one is a set um, cut at a quarter inch smaller. So it's four inches by five and a fourth. And we're going to layer that. And then I have a piece of Whisper White cardstock that is three and three quarters by five inches and layering that on top as well. So I'm only gonna be stamping on the Whisper White section. And I'm taking this kind of a, this background stamp here. And with the, I think this is the powder pink. Yeah, this is the powder pink. Let's get that inked up. And this is one of the older pads, so it needs I need to replace it, which is okay, right? I get a new stamp. <laughs> all right, or a new stamp pad. Okay, so I'm going to go above, you know, it's not quite centered right in the middle. It's a little bit above toward the top, but also centered from left to right. It's centered there. Give it a good press and lift that up. So I've kind of got like a background wash there. Now, the ink is still a little bit wet. It dries quickly, but it's still just a little wet. So I want to take, um, this is the embossing buddy, and I'm going to be embossing over this. So I just want to kind of run that over a little bit, and that's going to help it soak up and so that my embossing powder won't stick to it. And sometimes you want to wait a little bit um, longer as well too but let's see that should be that should be good okay next i'm going to take the flower stamp and with versamark so versamark ink is just a slow drying ink but it doesn't have any color to it and the reason you want to use that is when you emboss you want that embossing powder to stick so that's why you need a slow drying ink. So I'll just stamp that directly over what I've already, my impression that I've already have. And then I'm going to bring out some gold embossing powder. So you're going to see this embossing powder does last. I've had this for, I don't know how long. So I don't know if you know this or not, but a little bit about me. I was a demonstrator, Stampin' Up! demonstrator way back, like in the 1990s. And, um, so you can see that it's still wet. You see that? So we're gonna use another one um, that I have on hand just for this purpose. All right, here it is. This is definitely dried. So let me go ahead and stamp that <clears throat> again. Okay, all right, so let me continue. So I was a demonstrator back in the, like the mid 90s up until about 2000 for about five, six years. And then when I had my um, third child, I decided I, I better take some time off and um, focus on my kids. So I did stop for a while before rejoining. Okay, do you see how that has, um, I, I had run their embossing buddy before, have done this, I had inked up in um, the clips or the powder pink before and really let it dry. So it's a good learn from me, right? <laughs> So this one, I didn't wait as long, and you see how the embossing powder sticks to the other image, whereas this one that I let it set longer does not. All right, next thing what we need to do is we need to heat this up. We need to heat set it. So I will I'm going to get this started, 
and you'll see the beginning of it and then it just is going to melt that embossing powder so it sticks to the card. Okay. And then next I want to take a stamp saying, and this is again in the same stamp set, I love what you do. I've got the Memento Tuxedo Black ink, and I'm going to just stamp that right on to the bottom, like that. Isn't that just pretty? It's just, just a simple card, but I think it's really pretty. Okay, now let's go ahead and get these together and we'll add some embellishments and we'll be done. Okay, I'm just going to be adhering the top onto the designer series paper and then add them all together like this. Okay, so once we have that, now it's time to add a little bit of embellishments. These are the Artisan Pearls from the Share What You Love suite. These are a, a retired item. So if you want them, get them while you can. And they're little pearls. I'm just going to put like three of them. Maybe. And two. Okay. It's funny, like the older you get, the harder these little tiny things are to see. <laughs> oh, even with reading glasses, folks. Okay, so we've got that. I'm going to bend that. Now, this is some of the polka dot ribbon. This is the Whisper White. So this is not going to be disc. It's not on the retired list, but the, the very vanilla color is. It is on the retired list. All right, so let me just do the knot here really quick with this. I love this ribbon. You can do so much with it. And again, I'm tying it in a knot because I don't do bows well. And then take some scissors and trim that. Kind of get it straightened out here. And then there you have it. It's it's just a simple card, but I love the embossing, how it just gives it a more elegant feel to it, along with these um, R's and pearls. They're beautiful. Now, using the, stain, the same designer series paper, different card stock, a little bit different ribbon, I did the same thing, but in different colors. So you see how this is just a soft, subtle look. These are something, some other ideas and then this is in a green background with different designer series paper, but again in the same card, the same pack. So you can see that you can get a really different look with just the same stamp pad, just changing up the colors a little bit in ribbon. So I hope you enjoyed that, everyone. Um, thanks for watching. Go down. Um, I will have the link down below to the retired list. If you're interested, you can check that out. And also... Um, any other questions or suggestions that you have, I would love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.